Welcome to a quick exploration of On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. In this video, we'll dig into some interesting, sometimes funny, surprising, and even sad facts about the movie. Ever wondered about little-known stories that might catch you off guard? Or maybe you're curious about when people first saw this movie. Keep watching as we reveal cool facts and personal experiences related to this beloved film. Whether it's a special memory from your own watching or a neat fact you didn't know, we'd love to hear your stories and thoughts in the comments below. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be entertained and informed. Let's jump into the world of On a Clear Day You Can See Forever and find out what makes it so special. Share your thoughts with us. In the 1970s, there's a movie called On a Clear Day You Can See Forever. It's directed by Vincent Minnelli. The movie mixes romance, humor, and a bit of magic. It's set in the 70s, a time when people were exploring new ideas about themselves. The movie is special because it talks about love, destiny, and how people find themselves. Minnelli's direction is great. The actors make the characters feel real. Even though it's an old movie, it still speaks to people today. As you watch the movie, you get lost in a world where reality and dreams mix. The way the story is told and how it looks on screen make it unforgettable. It's more than just a movie, it's a masterpiece. People still love it because it tells a timeless story about love and self-discovery. So, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever is a classic movie that shows Minnelli's talent and tells a story that never gets old. On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, released in 1970, stars Barbara Streisand as Daisy Gamble, a woman with extrasensory perception. Directed by Vincent Minnelli, the film also features Eve Montand as Dr. Mark Chabot, a psychiatrist intrigued by Daisy's abilities. In his autobiography, one interesting anecdote from the actor's life emerges the original idea for Dad's Army was for him to play Captain Mainwaring with Arthur Lowe as an NCO. He reflected on this idea, expressing relief that it did not come to fruition. Another notable connection is his friendship with Danny DeVito. Their families managed a hair salon together, highlighting a bond that extended beyond the silver screen. Interestingly, Big Business was initially intended for Streisand and Goldie Hawn. However, both actresses declined the roles, leading to the film being reworked as a vehicle for Betty Midler and Lily Tomlin. Streisand's career is marked by diverse roles and collaborations, showcasing her versatility as an actress. From her early days in film to her later projects, her impact on cinema remains undeniable. On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, a 1970 movie, is a notable work discussed in directors' close-up interviews with directors nominated for Best Film by the Directors Guild of America. The director's diverse art collection, valued at over $100 million, includes pieces by Mattis, Warhol, Tamara de Lempica, and Picasso. Living in a custom-built house with the floor situated below ground level, the director's unique lifestyle complemented his creative endeavors. On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, released in 1970, starred Barbara Streisand, who declined the role of Sally Bowles in Cabaret. The part eventually went to Liza Minnelli, who won an Academy Award for her performance. Streisand's contribution to music earned her the 31st spot on VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. Additionally, Nicholson vied for the role of Dr. Martin Dysart in Equus, but it went to Richard Burton instead, who received an Oscar nomination. Before starring in The Shining, Nicholson was Stanley Kubrick's top choice for the lead role in Kubrick's unmade epic on the life of Napoleon Bonaparte. The best-selling female singer of the 20th century, she has sold over 68 million records, earning 47 gold, 28 platinum, and 13 multi-platinum certifications. On September 11, 26, he admitted himself to Cedars Sinai Hospital due to a salivary gland infection. In a 1970 movie, a character initially portrayed the role of Jaws with metal teeth in the film Silver Streak before reprising the character in James Bond movies. However, in Silver Streak, the character was named Reese due to copyright issues with the James Bond producers. During her time at Erasmus High School, she had an unrequited crush on a schoolmate who later gained international renown as chess genius Bobby Fischer. In the late 1940s, he recorded four hit songs composed by Henry Betty Mize Quest C. Quedji, with lyrics by Edith Piaf in 1947, Say C. Bon with lyrics by Andre Hornes, Reen Dan's Les Mains, Reen Dan's Les Poches with lyrics by Andre Hornes, and Mater Pierre with lyrics by Jacques Plant in 1948. 
In the movie On a Clear Day, You Can See Forever, which came out in 1970, Barbara Streisand plays a woman who goes through hypnosis and remembers being someone else in a past life. It's a cool twist in the story. J.T. Walsh, who was also in the movie, sadly died before the 1998 Academy Awards. Streisand won an Oscar in 1997 for As Good As It Gets and dedicated it to him at the awards, honoring their work together. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, released in 1975, is ranked 17 on a list of the most inspiring movies ever by the American Film Institute. This shows how much people still like the movie. Streisand was good friends with Suzanne Pluchet, her co-star from The Bob Newhart Show. When Pluchet passed away, Streisand gave a heartfelt speech at her funeral, along with Marsha Wallace, another friend from the same show. These connections show how close Streisand was to people in her work and personal life, leaving a strong impression on those who knew her. The movie On a Clear Day You Can See Forever, released in 1970, is about a person who smoked a lot but quit in 1985 because a doctor told them to. Before becoming famous in movies, they worked as an usher. A memorial service was held for them at St. Paul's Church, Covent Garden, on February 16, 1984. They made a big impact in cinema and are remembered fondly. In 1970, On a Clear Day You Can See Forever became the second highest grossing American concert engagement, making $16 $6 million from seven performances at Madison Square Garden in 1994. It ranks just behind Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band's 1999 shows, which grossed $19 million over 15 performances at Continental Airlines Arena. When it comes to actors who played the Joker in live-action Batman movies, we have Jack Nicholson, Joaquin Phoenix, and Jared Leto. They are the only survivors among those who took on the role. Cesar Romero passed away in 1994 and Heath Ledger in 2008, leaving Nicholson, Phoenix, and Leto. Jack Nicholson, a key figure in the movie, originally wanted to become a lawyer. But after his father's death and the family businesses collapsed during the late 50s recession, he pursued acting instead. This change led him to a successful acting career in the film industry. To sum up, the movie On a Clear Day You Can See Forever had significant success as the second highest grossing American concert engagement. Jack Nicholson, a pivotal figure in the film, changed his career path to become a prominent actor. In the movie On a Clear Day, You Can See Forever, the lead actor made six appearances as Professor Proton in The Big Bang Theory across several seasons. He holds a unique distinction as the sole artist to achieve the Oscar, Tony, Emmy, Grammy, Golden Globe, Cable Ace, and Peabody Awards. Additionally, he received the 2001 John F. Kennedy Center Honors. These accomplishments highlight his remarkable career across various entertainment platforms. In this captivating movie, Barbara Streisand plays Daisy Gamble, a person who goes on a fascinating journey when she explores her subconscious mind. With the help of hypnosis, Daisy looks into her past lives, finding secrets that challenge how she sees love, who she is, and her journey of self-discovery. The story unfolds, giving audiences a captivating tale that speaks to people of all ages because it talks about timeless ideas that everyone can relate to. With music that touches the heart and acting that stays with you, this film continues to delight viewers, reminding us of the power of movies to move and inspire. It's a true sign of how storytelling remains powerful through the ages.